I'm here with the beef. <laughs> Hitting up two promotions today, OTW in Williamstown, New Jersey, then trekking down to Delaware. Newark, to be exact. Newark, Delaware. I have a surprise for you, because there's really only one way to start off this... Uh, I'm very excited. This road tripping of trips. Very excited. The holster's in the house. Check him out, check him out. Get up off your seat. He's got a brand new beat. When the going gets tough, the tough get rough. Hey, hey oh, oh, come on. <laughs> Just, uh, look like a giant booger today. Happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Feel the power. Yeah, but I don't think they brought in stars. Different position, offensive linemen, then a new running back, quarterback, wide receiver, wide receiver. Josh Gordon's all but new. He played three games last year. No, and they're not familiar with Yeah, so like those four main spots. I just killed him with a tap. Right before the. Uh, I just, I just got the Bears too. You got the Bears too. That's comfy. That's good, man. Hey, Brian. You hear uh, ECWA lost their uh, school, school building? Yeah, what happened with that? I didn't know why. Apparently, a new tenant's moving in that building. Mike was telling me. I'm like, oh, they just cleared him out. So, no more Thursday night gimmicks for them? For now. They're looking for another place. The rumor I'm hearing is probably Atlantic City is where this new school might end up being. Okay. Which I don't know if they'll get. Who teaches their school? Is Mike the trainer? No. Oh, there he is. The new OTW heavyweight champion. Damn you, paparazzo. Oh, big star over here. Here, act like a paparazzo. Act like. Act like, like I'm trying to get in my car and just be like following you. <laughs> Beefcake! Beefcake! Uh, how do you feel after winning the OTW title? Huh? You hey, people are animals! Turn around, turn around, let me, let's get, you, got, you got the belt? Show us the belt. I'm entitled to a private life! What you got there? What do you got in your hand? What do you got? Beefcake! Beefcake! Any word? Any word? When's your next title fence? I'm not a role model and so forth. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, buddy. I can barely drink it. Why? It's so thick? Mm-hmm. One of the greatest things ever concocted by humans is the Shamrock Shake. Oh. Let me get my 16 sandwiches out of the way so you can get your nuggets. I like my clothes. It's good. Well, you did. Successful day. I got, I got to be a lumberjack at OTW. Yes, you did. A lumber Jacques. <laughs> got the Don the Jacques A-hole mask. Oh, exposing the business. Uh, lumber Jacques A-hole. I'm sure the cat was out of the bag already. <laughs> mm. Where would you rank McDonald's in the most American things on earth? Uh, number four. Okay. Behind. Hmm. Most American things. <laughs> Most American things. Stop. Pick up trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Millennials. 
They're number two. What part of the chicken is that? It's the chicken part. <laughs> I try not to question these things. As long as it tastes good, who the hell cares? How much money do you think McDonald's makes on a single St. Patrick's Day on these things? All over the world? Yeah. Millions? Well, in countries, I guess, where they have St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> well, I don't think the Irish do. <laughs> I think this is just something concocted by America. Absolutely. St. Patrick's Day is very American. That's up there. I don't know. This is the first time I have fast food in probably a month. What? Which is a new, a new record. No way. For the past six months, anyway. No, just like a week and a half ago, you said you went to McDonald's, or two weeks ago. That week, it was, like, really nice outside. You're like, hey, I just took a drive, I went to McDonald's, and... Was that two weeks ago? Yeah. Probably. Probably the Grand Max. <laughs> That's what it was, because you were like, I noticed McDonald's brought back the Grand Max, yeah. so... I oh. had to stop. Actually... Is Domino's Pizza fast food? No. Really? It's your ordering pizza. Alright. So I've definitely had Domino's in the past couple weeks. Yeah, you got pizzas to hunker down in the storm in. Mm. The storm that didn't happen. So that was last week. <laughs> I got two pizzas. What kind did you get? Mm. I know you're the big pepperoni and onion guy. Yeah, well, it's two, three topping pizzas for like seven ninety nine. I don't know. So it was like pepperoni, onions, and peppers, and the other one was pepperoni, sausage. No, sausage, bacon, and Parmesan cheese. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. On the McDonald's menu, where for you? Where does the McChicken rank? It's up there. It's um. Might be, might be my personal number one. Because I think I know for you for McDonald's, the number one and number two are the McChicken and the Big Mac, right? Mm hmm And then probably the Quarter Pounder with cheese. Eh, no, actually, oh, I love their breakfast stuff. Their, their, um, the bagel, bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel is really good. But you can get that anywhere. And McDonald's is different. They, there's some sort of sauce they put on it that just, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's their like their breakfast equi equivalent of like the secret sauce on a Big Mac. I was just gonna, I was gonna say you think they just have like a big tub in there that just says breakfast sauce. <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> Big Macs are good. I like the taste, but they're not really satisfying. Which is like when I well, that's because they get smaller over the exactly. years. Exactly. That's that's why I like when they bring back the Grand Macs because Big Macs they're they're like really soft and fluffy and almost kind of airy. For as much they're as they very good, they're very bready. Yeah, and it's it's kind of disappointing. That's why I have to get like multiple ones. But when they do the Grand Mac, it's big and you actually feel like you're getting full, which is why I order two. <laughs> I'm done with that. Did you eat all 20 nuggets already? Yeah. Wow. What a man.